find this surprising. Um, his mother loved to share and express herself through photographs and through words. Lots of photographs and lots of words. So now my friends know where I get that. So Scott and I thought that it would be appropriate uh, to, uh, to celebrate our mother through photographs and music. Uh, and so now I'm going to share with you a few things that she loved. And then while we eat, we're going to listen to some of her favorite uh, tunes. Uh, but keep in mind, um, uh, the things that I'm going to share with you as you watch, we're going to have a, a rotating photo of our presentation <coughs> while we uh, eat. And don't worry, it's on a loop, so if you have to get out and get your food and come back, you won't miss anything. They'll keep coming back around. But first of all, and uh, the first thing that I thought of when I thought of my mother is that she loved nature. She loved trees, forests, ferns, and wildflowers. She loved gardening, her Japanese magnolia, azaleas, chrysanthemums, wisteria, her vegetable garden, and as Scott pointed out, she had a truly green thumb. She could grow anything. She loved her sons more than anything. Sorry, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> and she was supportive of us in all ways. But then along came Bailey. And that was it. <laughs> she loved Bailey more than anybody. Mother loved being on the water and fishing. And please notice the table in the front. But more than anything, uh, fishing or water, she loved spending hours on the beach collecting seashells. And once she started, you could not get her back in the car. Just forget about it. <laughs> She loved her home on the farm. You're going to see a lot of photographs of that in all seasons. It was her pride and joy. Every bit of that home was a part of her. It was her sanctuary. It was where she expressed her great hospitality and enjoyed her artistic and gardening abilities. She loved all of her dogs, but especially Snoopy. And she loved telling tall tales about all the amazing things that Snoopy did. And some of them, I can't believe myself, and I, I knew Sue. She loved her family. She loved Grandma Katie and Grandpa Johnny and took really good care of them throughout the years. But she had a special friendship with her dad, Grandpa Johnny. Aunt Geneva was her best friend. Uncle Robert was her baby brother. And her special one. And she loved all of her nieces from A to Z. And speaking of A to Z, my mother loved her mother-in-law and was an example of what a daughter-in-law should be. She loved Grandma Kitty, and until she died, Mom referred to her as Mrs. Andrews. <laughs> when Grandma Kitty lived next door to us, my mother cooked her dinner every single night. And one of my fondest memories was running over next door to take Grandma Kitty her plate. And I'm sure Scott remembers doing the same thing. She loved her family history and passed that passion on to Scott and me and some of our cousins. So again, here we are in her family um, historic building, so that's the perfect setting for this. She loved all things German. If it's German, it's good. If it's good, it's probably German. <laughs> she and my dad, she reminded me, my dad of that frequently. <laughs> Antiquing. The woman loved Antiquing. Martha was not a scanner. She had to touch every single item. <laughs> Much like collecting shells, it was impossible to get her to leave an antique show or a flea market. I once made the mistake of taking Mother and Judy Sandlin to a giant antique show in West Palm Beach, Florida. I had gone through the entire show myself. I left, came back later that day, and they were only halfway through. I thought I would never get them to leave. <laughs> Most people think she loved to cook. But what she really loved about cooking was sharing that gift with people that she loved. Her 